Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Operations Research. This is lecture number 8.3 in the replacement model. Uh, we are discussing replacement model and problem solving on different topics. So, here we will we'll discuss the replacement model again another type of model and solve problem in that model. Learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in the replacement model. So, here we are going to discuss the replacement of items which fail suddenly. So, in the earlier two lectures, we discussed the replacement of item whose maintenance cost increases over the year and the money value was constant or changing with respect to time. So, now here the item fails suddenly. So, there are certain item like uh, the bulb in the uh, bulb at our home and the LED, uh, the IC chips in the printed circuit board and the mobile uh, phone, mobile phone also sometimes suddenly they are failing. So, in those cases we have to replace the item. So, when the item fails suddenly. So, certain item fails suddenly like electrical bulb, watch, strain gauge in a measurement system. So, these are all the item failing suddenly and the cost of failure is large compared with the cost of the item. So, the cost of electric bulb may be small, but the failure of electrical bulb, it, it will cost the, it will cost the work in the, it will disturb the work in the office or the home. The cost of the strain, strain gauge in the measurement system is less, but the failure of the strain gauge may collapse the operation of the entire measuring system. So, the cost of the item is less, but the failure of the item, it will cost more than the cost of the item. Two replacement policies are used for this type of problem. One is individual replacement policy and second one is group replacement policy. So, the individual replacement policy. So, here the item is replaced at a particular interval of time expecting its failure. So, whether this is when this is when whether this is failing or not, we have to replace at a particular interval of time. The probability of failure of item is obtained from the life table of the item. So, we may have track record or life table of particular item. So, based on the life table, so before the item fails, we replace or when the item fails, we replace. So, that is what the individual replacement policy. And the group replacement policy, here the items are replaced in a group at interval, at regular interval, whether they are fail or not. So, instead of replacing single item, the entire set will be replaced. The following points are considered in the group replacement. There are two rules for the group replacement. Rule number one, the group replacement should be made at the end of the teeth period if the cost of individual replacement for the teeth period is more than the average cost per unit time through the end of the teeth period. So, when the individual replacement cost is higher than the group replacement, we have to do the group replacement. So, the group replacement should not be made at the end of the teeth period if the cost of individual replacement for the teeth period is less than the average cost per unit time through the end of the teeth period. So, individual replacement, group replacement should not be done, should not be made when the individual replacement cost is at the end of the teeth period is less than the average cost. So, these are all the two policies, two rules for group replacement. So, we take one example and understand the group replacement or individual, whichever is preferable. So, individual replacement or group replacement, which is uh, preferred based on the uh, data given in the problem. Example number 5, the failure pattern of a bulb is given below. The cost of replacing an individual bulb when it fails is rupees 5, while the cost when they replace on a group basis is rupees 2 per bulb. The, the company has 1000 bulb of this type installed, determine the optimum replacement policy. So, life in month. So, one month, two months, up to six months, the proportion of bulb failing. So, the 0 0.08, 0 0.12, 0 0.30, 0 0.20 0 and 0 0.10. So, 0 0.80, 0, 0 0.08, 8 percent failure at the end of one month, 12 percent failure at the end of second month. 
20% failure at the end of third month, 30% failure at the end of fourth month, 20% failure at the end of fifth month, and 10% failure at the end of sixth month. Solution to the problem, the sum of probability is unity. So, when you add the value 0 0.08, 0 0.12, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.20 and 0 0.10, the sum of the value is 1, unity. So, it is sure that all the bulbs will fail by 6th month. So, end of the 6th month, all the bulb will fail. So, Ni is the number of, re number of bulbs replaced at the end of each month. So, NO, it is 1000. So, the end of the beginning we have 1000 bulbs n1 this is equal to 1000 into 0 0.08 which is 80 bulbs n2 end of the second month no into p2 plus n1 into p1 so no is the number of bulb initially at the at the time t equal to 0 beginning so no into p2 plus n1 into p1 this is equal to 1000 into 0 0.12 plus 80 into 0 0.08 equal to 127 so what do you mean by that at the end of the second month 0 0.12 bulb, 0 0.12 prob, percentage of bulb will fail in the total. So, 1000 into 0 0.12. So, this is the new bulb. So, they will fail by the probability of 0 0.08. So, at the end of one month, 0, the probability is 0 0.08. Then, entry equal to NO into P3 plus N1 into P2 plus N2 into P1. So, substituting 1000 into 0.2 plus 80 into 0.12 plus 127 into 0.08 equal to 220. N4 equal to N, NO into P4 plus N1 into P3 plus N2 into P2 plus N3 into P1. Substitute numerical value 1000 into 0.3 plus 80 into 0.2 plus 127 into 0.12 plus 220 into 0.08 equal to 349. And N5 equal to NO into P5 plus N1 into P4 plus N2 into P3 plus N3 into P2 plus N4 into P1. Substitute the numerical value 1000 into 0.2 plus 80 into 0.3 plus 127 into 0.2 plus 220 into 0.12 plus 349 into 0.08 equal to 304. So, N6 equal to NO into P6 plus N1 into P5 plus N2 into P4 plus N3 into P3 plus N4 into P2 plus N5 into P1. Substitute the numerical value 1000 into 0.1 plus 80 into 0.2 plus 127 into 0.3, plus 220 into 0.2, plus 349 into 0.12, plus 304 into 0.08 equal to 265. So, the average life of the bulb, sigma i equal to 1 to 6, i into pi. So, 1 into 0.08, 2 into 0.12, plus 3 into 0.2, plus 4 into 0.3, plus 5 into 0 0.2, plus 6 into 0 0.1 equal to 3.72. Average number of failures per month. 1000 divided by 3.70 equal to 269. Cost of individual replacement of bulb equal to 269 into 5. So, 5 rupees per bulb when you replace individually. The average failure per month equal to 269. So, the cost of individual replacement is 1345, rupees 1345. If you replace by in, in terms of group, so end of the first month, so we have number of months. So, 1000 bulb into 2 plus 80 failure will be there into 50, this is equal to 2400, so rupees 2400 average cost per month. Then 1000 into 2 plus 80 plus 127 into 5 equal to 3035 divided by 2 equal to 1517.5. Then third month, 1000 into 2 plus 80 plus 127 plus 250 into 220 into 5 equal to 4135 divided by 3 equal to 1378.33. Then fourth month, end of fourth month, 1000 into 2 plus 80 plus 127 plus 220 plus 349 into 5 divided by 4 equal to, uh, so this equal to 5880, 5880 divided by 4 equal to 1470, 0, 1470. End of the fifth month, 1000 into 2 plus 80 plus 127 plus 220 plus then end of the sixth month, 1000 into 2 plus 80 plus 127 plus 220 plus 349 plus 304 plus 265 into 5 equal to 8725 divided by 6 equal to 1454.20. So, look at the table, end of the table, the last column, 
the cost of group replacement for the first month 2400 second month 1517.5 third month 1378.33 fourth month 1470 470 fifth month 1480 and sixth month 1454 whereas the individual replacement of bulb is 1345 so the cost of individual replacement is less than the cost of group replacement so it is economical to have individual replacement of the bulb so we replace the bulb when it fails so our uh, predicting the uh, time of failure we replace the individual bulb that is the answer to the problem we take another example the process control panel has 1000 leds the failure rates are given below the cost of replacing an individual led is rupees 3 when the entire led are replaced the cost of cost per led is rupees 1 determine optimum replacement policy so there are five weeks first week second week third week fourth week and fifth week so probability of failure first week 0.15 second week 0.20 third week 0.25 fourth week 0.20 and fifth week 0.20 So the sum of all the probabilities unity, so all the LEDs will fail at the end of the fifth week. So we have to calculate n is the number of LED replaced at the end of each week. At the beginning, it is there are thousand LEDs. N one, N o into P one, thousand into point one five equal to thousand one fifty. N two, N o into P two, so P N one, uh, okay. So uh, P one is point one five. So thousand into point one five equal to one fifty n two n one into p two plus n one into p one thousand into point two plus one fifty into point one five equal to two thirty n three n one plus n one into p three plus n one into p two plus n two into p one equal to thousand into point two five plus one fifty into zero point two plus two thirty into zero point one five equal to three four three fifteen n four equal to n one into p four plus n one into p three plus n two into p two plus n three into p one Substitute the numerical value: thousand into point two plus one fifty into point two five plus two thirty into point two plus three one five into zero point one five equal to three forty seven, and n five equal to n o into p five plus n one into p four plus n two into p three plus n three into p two plus n four into p one. Substitute the numerical values: thousand into point two plus one fifty into zero point two plus two thirty into zero point two five plus three one five into zero point two plus. 347 into 0.15 equal to 403. The average life of LEDs. So we calculate sigma. This equal to sigma i equal to 1 to 5 i into pi. 1 into 0.15 plus 2 into 0.2 plus 3 into 0.25 plus 4 into 0.2 plus 5 into 0.2 equal to 3.1. So the average number of failures per week equal to 1000 divided by 3.1 equal to 323. The cost of individual replacement of LED is 323 into rupees 3 equal to rupees 3969. Now we we calculate for the group replacement the end of the week. So there are five weeks, one, two, three, four, five, and we calculate the average cost per week. So for the the total cost of replacement, thousand into one plus one fifty into three equal to thousand four fifty divided by one equal to thousand four fifty. For end of second week, thousand into one plus one fifty plus two seventy three, two thirty into three equal to rupees two one four zero divided by two equal to thousand seventy. And the end of the third week, thousand into one plus in plus one fifty plus two seventy three plus three one five into three equal to rupees three zero eight five divided by three equal to thousand twenty eight point three three. Fourth week, end of the fourth week, thousand into one plus one fifty plus two thirty plus three one five plus three forty seven into three. Equal to four one two six divided by four equal to thousand thirty one point five zero, and the end of the fifty week thousand into one plus one fifty plus two thirty plus three one five plus three forty seven plus four hundred three into three, equal to four eight five five divided by five equal to nine seventy one. So if you look at the last column, the value is lowest value is nine seventy one. So the cost of individual replacement of LED is rupees nine sixty nine. So the cost of individual replacement is less than the cost of group group replacement. So it is economical to have individual replacement of LED. So that is the answer to the problem. So we stop here. These are all the books I have published in mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to the book Operation Research uh, for additional information on the replacement model. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel. Use the videos for your better learning. 
So thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. So we'll meet again with another video lecture in the operation research. Until then, bye.